I want to do a running jump today, so I'm going to go to Mixamo.com and look for a running animation. Running jump animation. So this looks like a running jump. I'm going to download it. 60 frames per second. I'm going to rename the file to jump running because we have a animation called jump normal and I'm going to drag it into my mixml animations folder so here it is we're going to do the usual setup turn it into humanoid apply configure sample t-bind pose apply done And inside the animation tab, I'm going to rename it jump running. Click apply. I don't want the character to move when the animation plays. Okay, so. Now I'm going to go into the animator window and just like all the other abilities I'm gonna drag in the running jump and in order to go from running to jump running we need a transition and the condition is going to be that jump is true and turn off exit time I want the transition to be quick Let me bring the player down and click play. Shift F to follow the player on the scene view. And if I press jump while I'm running, we get the uh, running jump animation. We want the character to actually jump. So I'm going to go into the states player jump I'm gonna create a jump ability we created that a long time ago here it is jump I'll name it player jump running jump timing is going to be zero meaning as soon as you go into this animation the character is gonna jump and jump normal force is 400 I'll try 600 And the pull will be a gradual increase. Okay, this looks good for now. So we're going from zero to 30%. And now if I, wait, before I click play, I need to add the ability, add a character state and add the running jump ability that we just created and click play. I'm just repeating the same process that I've been using for all my other abilities. So if I press space while I'm running, the character actually jumps. We want the character now to move forward because you were running and you have a forward momentum. So I'm gonna create another ability called move forward, call it player jump running move forward and speed graph I'll just use a straight line speed I'll compare it to the move forward for the normal so I'll try out the same numbers for now and test out and check out what happens when I have the ability with the same numbers it's probably going to look the same so we have a character 
that is jumping up and moving forward depending on your keys. And after you complete the jumping motion, I want the fall animation. I'll drag in the falling idle one more time. And this is going to be jump, running, fall. And from jump running to the falling animation, we just need the exit time, meaning once the animation is finished, we're going to go automatically into the falling motion. I want it to be smooth. Now if I play again, So as soon as the jump animation finishes, we go into the natural falling animation. I think the jump running needs to end quicker. Maybe somewhere, I'll try 45. Apply and try again. Okay, I think that looks a lot smoother. Okay, and after the falling motion, when you hit the ground, you need to go into the landing motion. I think that is the landing motion. Okay, so I'm going to go from fall to landing. The arrow looks a little weird, but I'll or organize everything later. And the transition. I don't want the exit time. And I want the transition to be quick. And the condition is that the player is grounded. So as soon as we hit the ground, we go into the, the falling animation. And we want to add the ground detecting ability. I'll try out the same ground detector for the jump normal. I might change this later. Let me click play and see what happens. So we jump, we land. So it's a complete motion now, except we stop moving in the middle of the animation or middle of the jump. So I would like to fix that. I'm going to go back to my jump folder, duplicate the move forward for running and I'll call it move forward falling and add that to the falling state so we should now be moving as we're falling instead of stopping okay but the problem is that the momentum goes back to zero when we're changing states. So the player stops a little bit in the air and then goes into the falling motion. We want it to be a continuous air momentum. I'm going to go into the move forward script. And I'm going to create an option called clear momentum on exit and instead of turning off air momentum here I'll go to the exit okay we also have air momentum zero here but we only do this if clear 
momentum is true. So if I go back for something like jump normal, we want to clear the momentum when you exit, but for running forward, we don't want to clear it because we have the next animation, which is the same movement, which is falling. We clear it here, but not in the running jump. So if I click play, We now have a continuous air movement. There does seem to be a bit of a transitioning stage between jump running to the falling motion. There seems to be a bit of a speed change there, which should not happen. But I think I'm going to fix this later because I have other work to do. I want the running jump to have an initial forward push because we have the running momentum. So I'm going to go back to move forward the script and I'm going to create a public float called starting momentum. And in the beginning of the state, if the starting momentum is more than zero, and if player is facing forward, then we start out with a positive air momentum. If not, we start with negative air momentum. If I go back, and let's say I'll have the starting momentum to be 0 0.3. We should be starting a little faster than the normal jump. I don't think I can tell the difference. Let me go back to the code. Okay. When we're updating momentum, I also want to be using the default speed. So multiply that too. Now if I go back and play, the normal jump should be a little different now because we've changed the code. So the speed for the normal jump seems a little too high. So for normal jump move forward, I want decreased speed and increased max momentum. Let me fine tune it a little bit. Okay, so normal jump looks fine. Let me also fix the running jump.
I think the numbers are too high. Okay, three, three. Two here, two here. Actually, I'll decrease the number here. Wait a minute. We seem to be getting some extra force while we're in the air. That's a little weird, but We got the basic transitioning. I think we might be moving too fast. Let me make this 1.65, 1.65, 1.65 here as well. Okay, that seems a little better. I think what's happening here is that as we're transitioning from running to falling, I think we're doubling the speed because the transition is long. And I think both of these updates are happening at the same time. For this video, I'm happy that we got the basic transition working. So in the next video, I'll start fixing the issues. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.